So the 2080 Ti, well, it's 2021 and they don't make it anymore, but you guys have come here for the performance. So let's check it out. What is up YouTube? Tech Titan back here. In today's video, I wanna talk with you guys about the 2080 Ti, my overall experience with it, and let's run some tests such as the benchmarks. And we're gonna do a test, uh, it's called Heaven. For those of you who don't know Heaven, it's very similar to BMW and similar, similar rendering, rendering programs. Now what Heaven does is it takes shaders that you would see mainly in games and it pretty much puts a performance on your CPU and or GPU and stress tests it. And now what this is going to do for us is it's going to pretty much show us certain things and how well it handles certain rendering just to give you an overall idea of the performance of the game. So I've already got the card launched up and installed in my computer. And we're running this alongside a um, i7 I think it's the eighth gen, as well as 16 gigabytes of 34 megahertz RAM or 3600 megahertz RAM. Um, these are just the important things to note as different CPU, different RAM will hinder the performance or make it better. Um, I find that this is a very average build. Now the CPU is not overclocked either, which is one thing to note, but we have um, some tests to run here. So let's start off with heaven. And uh, after we do Heaven, we're going to run some games as well. We're going to run Destiny, and then we're going to view the overall benchmarks comparable to um, other cards that are currently on the market, such as the 30 series cards, 30, 60, 70, up to 90, and where are this card currently sits comparable to those other cards. So as we're going through the beginning stages of this program, it starts us off light. And uh, you guys can kind of just see here that there's not a whole lot of rendering lag. I mean, the playback's really good. As it's moving around, we can see that it's just, it's able to function with the overall um, HD 4K resolution. Um, so now, as I mentioned before, this is outputted on a 4K display. So normally some of the other cards on the market would not be able to even handle output on a 4K display. This card I found has done really well so far with its output. We got some really good shader definition. Like we do see some moments of choppiness here, but it's overall, it's, it's fairly good. It's doing fairly well, I'd say. Um, with the overall resolution as well, like you can't really tell in this video how well the resolution is, but it's very crystal clear. We have very little minimal, or very minimal, I should say, um, leg and uh, very minimal particle I'm trying to think of the word here, um, but very minimal particle trail. So there's nothing kind of trailing along the screen, just lagging there. Um, but the overall performance, the program's running great. And these are some high definition images uh, that would normally be rather hard for a processor and graphics card to comprehend. So the card is, it, it's doing very well in this program so far, but let's, uh, Let's take a look at some of the other aspects. This is running off of the Turing um, line of cards, and it has a boost clock of 1635 megahertz with 11 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and 14 gigabytes per second of memory speed. So now this card, comparable to some of the other cards on the market right now, such as the 3060, which I believe only has eight gigabytes of GDDR3, or GDDR6, I should say, has a lot of, I guess you could say, a lot higher of memory cap for the price point. And zone C, zone A capture. So now that we're in Destiny, we're, we're just trying out some game in here. Um, I'm not very good, so I apologize in advance. But as you guys can see here, it's 
performing pretty well outputted onto a 4K monitor, as well as we have uh, some good shading going on. Not a lot of lag. There's some occasional spots of lag. Keep in mind, you are losing 15% with an NVIDIA overlay that I have on currently. So we do have some 15% uh, loss of FPS. So that's something to account for. But under normal circumstances, I don't get much lag and I get over 60 FPS output onto a 4K display. Um, so this is Destiny and it's, it's, not, it's not the worst. Um, there's, I think there's like one or two minor graphic settings that I could adjust that wouldn't really change the FPS, but I could drop it down a little bit to get a little bit better of FPS rating. Press off. So as you guys can see here, for the 2080 Ti, we have um, an average benchmark of 175%, which is seventh best card of 659. So if we go back to the consistency, uh, the consistency is actually pretty good. Now the weakness is gonna be high dynamic range lighting. So this is like what you'd get more on your 4K output. Um, and then the parallax occ occlusion mappings. And that is also going to be the weakness as well. I'm not 100% sure. I would have to double check on what parallax occlusion mapping is. It's not overly important for your overall card's performance. But now if we look at the overall scores based on the users, we have 173 average outstanding percent. And this is as of six minutes ago. Um, and then if we go down a little bit more, you can see kind of comparable to cards. Uh, we're going to see that the Asus, Asus aftermarket RTX 2080 um, is a little bit better of a card than the base um, NVIDIA one. And that's just due to kind of performance tweaks with aftermarket um, as well. So let's compare this to the 30. I'm just going to double check here. Let me check the 3070. So if we compare the two cards, which is the NVIDIA 3070 to the 2080 Ti, you'll see here that we have some better performance on certain games such as CSGO, for example. You have 282 FPS on the 3070 versus the 2080 Ti, you have 296. So this card comparable to the 3070 is better, but as of right now, the price point still is marked at a little bit higher. This is mainly in my opinion because of these scalpers. As brand new, this card was only selling for 11.99. Um, and the, some games that the 3070 will beat the, 3080, the 2080 Ti on, such as PUBG and Fortnite. Um, but overall, we have effective 3D speed that is way higher, 14% higher on the 2080 Ti. And the reflection is 211 versus 207 on the 3070. And as we're going down here, you can kind of see what the differences are. Um, there's more of a market share for sure on the 2080 Ti, um, or sorry, my apologies, the 3070. And there's more of a value on the 3070 right now as well. I'm not going to. I'm not going to focus on that in the, for the purpose of this video because in my opinion, they are basing this on scalping prices as the 2080 Ti is no longer being manufactured. So I think that this is based on speculative more of the prices going on from used sellers taken from like Newegg, eBay, et cetera, et cetera. As I think that the 3070's price point is a little off as well, because you can't find the 3070 anywhere right now. So the price point will be very similar compared to the 2080 Ti and the 3070 on market. Now we are looking at a market or a new price of 1199 on the 2080 Ti. And on the 3070, for example, we have a market price of 699 USD. 
Now, if we compare this to the 3080, which is as far as I'm gonna go, because the 3090 will beat the 2080 Ti, but if we compare this to the 3080, we can see here that CSGO, for example, has a higher FPS on the 2080 Ti, and that looks like one of the only games that there is a better performance with the 2080. And overall user benchmarks for faster speed, we are going to have the 3080 beat that on as well. Now there is some aspects that will get a higher FPS performance from the 2080 Ti, but overall the 3080 will beat this card. The 3090 will just crush this card. Um, but then you're spending nearly two grand on a graphics card. In my opinion, I think that the 3080 or the 2080 is better than the 3070. And if you can get a good deal on that, then buy the 2080. Is it still a good card to buy in 2021? Of course it is. It is a great card to buy in 2021 if you can find a deal and avoid the scalpers who are charging five times the card's worth because that's just outrageous. So if if we're talking in, in regards to the two cards and which one is better, which one has better performance, um, I would unfortunately have to say if you are in the market for a new card, I would recommend the 3070 or the 3080. But that is all to today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed our content and please, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.